secure. Try as much as possible not to get into the water. Let it be the last resort. So what you can do at first, you notice someone is trying to gasp or call yeah. uh, to indicate that they are drowning. So try and throw to them or try throw them something that they can reach, grab it, and then you pull them offshore. So not unless someone is floating on water, they've drowned, now they're just floating on water and you cannot throw something, something to them so that they can pull themselves out, then that is the last resort where you're saying it is when you go inside the water. Now, we are saying do not go into the water when someone is still in that yeah. distress because yeah. the moment you may get in, they might grab you and what happens next, the both of you could be drowning in that water. So getting into the water should be your last resort. So throw something, let them grab on it, if it's a rope, if it's a buoyance, the floaters that is, throw it to them, let them grab it, then pull them to the offshore. You're saying that, that the reaction is not to get to them? Yes. First reaction should not uh, be you yourself going into that water. Because there might be, I remember I've just said you might get there. Yeah. Try to hold that person. You know, in as much as you're a best swimmer or you're a good swimmer, yeah. when you try to hold on to them, they might grab you in a, maybe in a way that might be too strong, if I can say it like that. Then you, you end up, both of you are drow drowning in that, in that water. So we're seeing just try and avoid that. So throw a flotation, let them grab onto it, then pull them offshore. So entering into the pool or entering into the water should be your last, last resort. Even for professional swimmers? Yes, even listen, for professional we're watching you this swimmers. Morning, isn't yes. It? Getting into the water Tomorrow should be in. your last result, especially if the person is still uh, talking or still trying to shout for help. Does it, does yes, it? yes. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then they've grabbed on it, you've pulled them out mm -hmm. successfully. Mm -hmm. Next course of action. So now, uh, one, it's either this person is going to have a lot of water in their st stomach. So yes. what you can do, ask them to try and cough. If they're still conscious, ask them to try and cough so that that water can come out. Or you can even lie them, p place them in what you call a recovery position so that that water can simply come out of through their mouth or if, if it's coming through their nose, that's okay, there's no problem. But now our case scenario is where you're having someone who was unconscious, they drown and they're now floating on top of the water. Now, this is when you, the first aider, or you, the rescuer, will go into the water, pull that person out, then now you, you begin what you call the CPR or the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Yes. Yes. So now this is where we're going to... Um, we want to remove that water from the stomach that is blocking their airway, probably impeding them from breathing. So we want to uh, remove that water so that they can start breathing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that is where we, we begin our CPR. That is for somebody who is a 